Hello stampers! Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, it has been a frustrating couple of days for me and this Facebook Live. I tell ya, it's been just terrible. Hi Marsha, welcome. You're the first one popping in. I see Becky's here. I'm gonna find my Facebook Live on the screen here so that I can monitor what's going on. Wait for some of you guys to pop in. How's everybody's day going? I have all kinds of news to share with you. It seems like it's been like a month since I've seen you, right? <laughs> you know how that goes. It's, oh, I can't, I can't even tell you the level of frustration that I've been dealing with here. And I have exhausted several avenues on what's been happening with my Facebook Live. I really don't know that I've come to any conclusions, <laughs> except that I did a few things and it seems to be working. I'm going to put my string up there. Sorry, my string. My, my string. Put my cord up there so it's not hanging in the way. Hi, Pam, Cindy, Vicki, Bernie's. We got everybody popping in. I'm so happy to see you guys. It feels like I've been missing my best friends. Isn't that terrible? Donna, bless your heart. Donna's here. She has been calling me from Australia and, and helping me try to brainstorm some of these problems that I've been having. It's been just horrid. I feel like Facebook hates me. They just hate me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really happy to be here tonight. So, I had a busy couple of days. You know, my mom came to visit. I haven't seen her in a very long time. She got to meet um, Val for the first time, so that was nice. And we were all gloved up and masks on and the whole deal, which is just really sad and disturbing. But it is what it is, right? She was just very grateful that she got to meet her and she held her and fed her and burped her and snuggled her and she had a great time. And Haley and Jared were just such proud parents and happy to introduce Val to her great-grandmother. So I got to spend a lot of time with the little stinker too. So that was nice. And uh, my mom stayed overnight last night and then she went home this afternoon and I had terrible problems today. I do a question and answer every Tuesday morning. Well, I postponed it until 2 o'clock today because my mom was here and the kids were here with the baby. And um, it had the same problem, breaking up, cutting out, the, you know, like clipped, dit, dit, dit. it would freeze and then go and then you couldn't understand what I was saying. It was just horrible. So anyways, um, I did a whole bunch of investigating. I've actually ordered a webcam. I just got a um, photo stick that I ordered from Amazon to download my photos off my phone because Donna told me that it is, it's possibly that my phone has too much memory being used. And Donna guessed that I did. So today, after I got done talking to you, I went into my phone and I deleted 265 videos. <laughs> You know, you lose track of that. And um, then I did a test run with Haley on a private Facebook group that I have. And I was on there with her for like a good half an hour or more because it seems like it would go up to about 15 minutes and then it would cut me off. I tried Zooming and, and um, streaming to Facebook Live and that would last about 15 to 20 minutes. And then it would tell me that I was... I had paused my, what did it say? It said the broadcast has been paused. It should resume shortly, but then it wouldn't resume. It would just shut off. So I'm like, oh my Lord. Oh, I've been on hold with um, Zoom forever. I'm number 92 in the queue. So I'm probably never going to talk to anybody there because they're short staffed right now too. But anyways, after I did a test run with Haley, after I deleted a stuff, bunch of stuff off my phone, I went in and changed some settings on some things. I think we have it. Like, right? Yeah, Donna, I think that may have done it. Just getting all those videos off my phone. But here's the funny thing. That's not all that's wrong. Because I'm zooming from my computer to Facebook, and that was doing stupid things too. And my computer can't be 
it's not full because I use the cloud, so I don't store much on my computer. It My phone storage is bigger than my laptop storage. So anyways, enough about Kelly's silly little problems. I'm just happy to see you guys. I'm so happy to be here. So I think what we're going to do is I am going to... Oh, Mary Lynn says she's in Missouri today. Good for you. Um... I am going to make our card right away just in case we run into problems. At least we can get that part done, right? Then I will share with you the cards that I tried to share the other night. But you guys, it was like clipping and I you couldn't hear me. And I have a box full of presents that I need to share and all kinds of good stuff. So I think I'm going to do that. And then we'll talk. So we'll get the really important part done. Why do I have a card here for Connie? Hang on, let me look at this. Oh. Oh, I know why. <laughs> I'm so funny sometimes. Not funny like ha-ha funny, but funny like <laughs> you can't remember anything. I have prizes. I have prizes, people. This is where I think we were when I got cut off the other night, and or I didn't have any sound anymore. So let's go back to all this. Here we go. So, prizes from last week, Sunday. So, this would have been from April something or another. I can't. I tore it off already, so I don't know what the date was. But anyways, my last Facebook Live, which was on a Sunday. That's the one where I award three prizes, right? And we have um, four commenting don't forget to leave a comment and we're not going to go with oh don't comment and don't hit the emojis because I don't think that's anything I think that didn't have anything to do with anything um I have these Dyna Roar enamel shapes this is for a comment and Connie Bushman of Eau Claire Wisconsin is our big winner and Connie just happens to be one of my team members so yay Connie that's why I have whoops I shouldn't show your address an envelope here with a card in it. And I'm like, why do I have a car an envelope addressed to Connie Bushman? Well, that's why. So let me get this back in here. And I wanted to, I had this all ready to go in the mail, you guys. Like, I was all over it. I was ready Sunday night. And then I just got shut right down. It was terrible. Um, okay, then for sharing my video, click on that share button. That really helps me out. You can do it right now. <laughs> For sharing, I have some Noble Peacock Rhinestones. You guys, I love these things. They're so very pretty. These are going out to Mary Lynn Cox. Woohoo! And uh, Mary Lynn is actually from Texas, but she just said she's in Missouri. So, Mary Lynn, I have a pretty little card and your um, Noble Peacock rhinestones going out and I'm touching my face again we touch our face a lot don't we it's very strange I never really noticed it until it was a thing and then for placing an order between the last Sunday and this last Sunday I have a tags in bloom this is a level two celebration set that I'm giving away and this is going to Julie Cannonberg and Julie is from Wausau Wisconsin so congratulations these are going out in the mail tomorrow because I have them all addressed, postage on them, and everything ready to go since Sunday night. So, I was pretty tickled pink with myself. What else did I do really far ahead of time? I don't remember, but I was pretty proud of myself. I got something else done, too. Maybe it was just this. <laughs> just see if I can pat myself on the back enough, right? Like, geez, she's really full of herself. No, there was something else that I had done way ahead of time that I was just so like, oh, I can't believe I got this all done. My mom hates licking envelopes. It is pretty disgusting, right? Probably shouldn't do that. I did get an envelope licker, but I haven't used it. <laughs> okay, hang on. This is going to go by the door, so I have to trip over them, and then I will remember to put them into the mailbox, because that's how I roll. Can you tell I'm really excited? I'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight, and so grateful that things are working right. We're going to hope they stay working right. So, what I was so excited about was being able to show you this, oh, what's it called again? Hang on, i got to look, because I can't remember a thing. 
floating gatefold card. Super, super duper cute. I will show you where I got the idea from because somebody sent me one of these that was just stinking adorable. And <clears throat> we are going to be using the Wheel Walrus Be Friends. And I'll show you this when we turn the camera around so that, oh, let's see if it's still green. So today we tried to mirror the screen and it was actually green, which is very interesting. Yep, look it, I look like I'm on the Munsters. I look like Fred Munster right now, right? <laughs> and then I was talking to my team about it. I told them a little story about how when I was a kid, we had one of those big console TVs that sat on legs on the floor, you know? And um, when you watch the Munsters, of course, Fred or Herman Munster is green, right? Well, I didn't know this, but there was something wrong with our TV and everyone on all the shows had a tinge of green like Herman Munster. <laughs> so when we got a new TV, I was like, whoa, nobody's green anymore. Did they ever do some really cool things with TVs? Come to find out it was just because our TV didn't really work right. So it was kind of funny. Anyways, it's funny the strange things you remember and then I can't remember the name of my card from two days ago. Who has that? Who has that problem? I'm not scrolling again here. Hang on. Use an aqua painter for envelopes. Janet, that's a really good idea, but I'm super lazy. <laughs> like that would take an effort to get it and take the lid off of it and get the water coming out. I'm so lazy. I'm a lazy stamper. I am not gonna lie. Okay, I got my little basket unloaded here. Let me put that away. Oh, and I got my whole office cleaned up, you guys. It still looks great, I have to say. And I'm pretty proud of myself because I haven't destroyed it yet, but I haven't really been in here much. <laughs> I've been in here all afternoon trying to get my Facebook Live fixed. But um, other than that, I haven't had much time to destroy it because I've been baby visiting, right? Yeah. Um, oh, and I have another really cute picture to share of baby Val. Haley um, had some professional pictures taken, and that was really interesting. They were outdoors, and they were at a nature center, so there was nobody there. And the photographer was, like, very stern about, it has to be outdoors. You have to stay so far away from me. Haley and Jared brought all their own props. It was really kind of pretty funny. And Val cooperated pretty good until she got just a little chilly and then she was that was done so they felt fortunate that they got as far as they did but wait until you see this picture oh my lord it's just so cute I'll share it with you when I get done so I think we're ready to flip the camera now when we're done making the card I am going to come back to you and we'll chat because I know that I've missed you you must have missed me too right <laughs> and we'll be all good <clears throat> all right Hang on, I gotta get my little sheet up here. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. <laughs> I think it's funny that I say that. But there's no throwing up and stamping. We cry from time to time, but there's no throwing up. Hang on, oops, hang on, my phone just got stuck in my stand. So yeah, I ordered this new um, webcam and I'm excited to get it because it's supposed to be a lot easier to use than your phone. And then you don't have to worry about how many pictures you have stored on your phone and all the nonsense, right? Like Donna convinced me that it's the way to go. So, um, all right. I'm just looking at some of your comments. I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen. Did I do that yet? I did. I'm here. Okay, good. <laughs> Connie said she did miss me. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Linda says the same. Cindy's been looking for me. I know. Like, it's kind of like, where the heck did Kelly go, right? Well, I'm still here. Took a little time for family time. The only thing that I haven't... What else? I got something else done that was really important and a big job, but I can't think of what it was. Anyways, the only thing that I really have left now is my taxes. So I'll be working on those. Anywho, see a silhouette designer series paper. Now, as of Sunday night, I had gone in and checked all these products that I'm using because some of them are retiring and they were still available at that time. So if you need to place an order, I'm hoping these are still there for you. See a silhouette, such a really cool, bold, bright set of designer series paper. I really have enjoyed using this over the last few weeks. I've done quite a few projects with it. We are going to start out with our card base. This is, now, 
the coordinate. Oh, it does have blueberry bushel in there. Is that right? No, Pacific Point. Oh, Pacific Point. Well, I use blueberry bushel because I didn't remember that Pacific Point was the color. But it's right here, Kelly. I know. Sometimes I get distracted, right? So I use blueberry bushel. And then I've got an, a whisper white envelope. Oh, by the way, my blueberry bushel is five and a half by eight and a half. Oh, and the other, oh, I know what I did. I was really proud of myself, you guys. I had pictures taken. My blog post is ready to roll, just waiting for this video on Sunday night. I never get stuff like that done ahead of time. So all I would have had to do was download my video to my computer, upload it to YouTube, throw it out on my blog, bam. I had all my dimensions typed up so I could put them right in the Facebook Live, and then I couldn't do anything because I never got to show you the card. That's why I was really mad. Four by five and a quarter, whisper white. I'll stop ranting now. <laughs> and then I have this pretty designer series paper. Oh, I love, love, love this. Remember that card we made? I already sent it out, so I don't even have it here, but it was beautiful. What did we use it? Oh, it was the sail away, the um, sailing stamp set. It was a gift card holder. There, see, I can remember a little bit. These two pieces are two inches by five and three eighths. You need two of them. And then I've got two pieces of um, the same paper. These are half an inch by four. Then we've got a silver foil scrap. And as of Sunday, silver foil was still in the store, but that is, I'm pretty sure that's, oh, maybe it's just a glimmer paper. Oh, hang on, now I'm gonna lie to you. There is no lying, no lying. Hang on, I gotta look. I think it's just the glimmer paper that's all retiring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Right, you guys? Yeah, the black. Black foil paper is the only one retiring. It's all the glimmer paper. So I was thinking that the silver foil was retiring, but it's not. We're fine. All right, let me set this over here. Okay, next, you need a scrap of Whisper White and a scrap of the Blueberry Bushel. Now, I use the layering squares to cut out these little scallop squares. These are the layering square squares dies. I'll get some more light in here. And that was what the scrap was for. A whisper white scrap that you can't quite see right here, but just pretend that we have one, I use to cut out two stitched squares. These are from the stitched shapes. Shape, stitch shape dies. <laughs> oh my gosh, I only say it like every week and I can't remember. And these just layer perfectly, okay? So I got two of those on Whisper White. Then I took the Stitch So Sweetly die and I cut out a silver foil, this label. And on that Whisper White that we pretended to have, I also die cut this. So we've got all our little bits and pieces die cut. And hang on, my computer is not scrolling again. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Yeah, and we're gaining brass foil sheets, Deb is reminding me. So you're right. We have silver, gold, champagne, whatever, and we're getting brass. So that's exciting. Okay. Um, one thing that I do need to do, I need to score just a little bit on this piece. Oh, <laughs> this is not a scrap. We'll talk about it. See, this is what happens when I didn't get to make my card Sunday. I'm just discombobulated. We're going to put this in here, and we're going to score it at two and an eighth. Now, get your cutting blade out of the way. Did you see I almost blew it? When I do a gatefold card, and that's a card that meets in the middle. When I do a gatefold card, I only like to score one side. Now, I know a lot of people will score two and an eighth and two and an eighth, but what happens is it oftentimes doesn't match up right in the middle. So if you only score at two and an eighth on one side, we're going to burnish that edge. Then you can just bring this in and fold it. And because our um, card is a hamburger, not a hot dog, does you guys know what that means? It will fold pretty decent here without a score line on it. Now, if we had a tall card, which is the hot dog kind of card, so this is a hamburger. Okay, well, let me do this. Let's see what I got. Oh, geez. Here we go. Well, I don't know if that'll work. Here's one. This is a hamburger card because it's this way or this way. 
And a tall card would be the hot dog card. So we've got hamburgers and hot dogs. I know that makes no sense, but just trust me, it works. Oh, let's get rid of that too. So because it folds like a hamburger card, you can put it in here and now our center is gonna meet up perfectly. So if you ever tried a gate fold card, only score one side and then make sure that the other side butts up against the side that you scored and folded. You're gonna like it a lot better. I don't like it when there's a gap in the middle. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm just looking at comments here, you guys. All right. Um, so we're gonna take this little cutie patootie and I've got my blueberry bushel. This is retiring. As of Sunday, it was still available in the paper. I think the markers are still available, the ink pad, there's ribbon, there's a whole deal. So if you don't have any blueberry bushel, I highly recommend it because it's a really bright, vibrant blue. Now I'm standing up so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I did really good. Boy, I like to pat myself on the back of what night, don't I? Okay, so we did that. Now I'm gonna grab my, oh, I've got a whole bunch of memento ink pads here, I don't know why. I'm gonna grab these cutie patootie little fish. Now I told you I'd show you this again. We'll walrus be friends. This is such a cute little stamp set. I've used it in the past. I actually used the sprinkles, the pigment sprinkles, for to make backgrounds. And I stamped these guys and um, clear embossed them or white embossed them. And then I sprinkled the stuff and squirted them and it, <laughs> the colors blow up. And I made some really cute cards with this. But um, I really like this stamp set. It is retiring. Here we go. I'm going to take these cutie patootie little fish and I'm going to stamp a couple little fish. So here's a fish going one way. These remind me of Dr. Seuss fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I'm going to be reading that book a lot <laughs> in the coming months. Because <laughs> I like Dr. Seuss. He's fun to read. And then I've got some Stampin' Blood markers here. Trudy says that blueberry bushel is one of her favorite colors, and I so agree, right? And um, I've got the dark mango melody. I'm going to close this up here so we don't have any, dis oh, shoot, like disasters like that. Did you see right on my naughty finger? Yep, that's what I get. Hang on, I got a baby wipe right here. I was making a mess earlier today. I was working on my Technique Club cards. I was designing those. I got them designed. Now I got to cut everything when we're done here tonight and get those made. And out in the mail. So if you're in my technique, my online technique club, I got it figured out. I have to type up your instruction cards, get your cards made. They'll be going out in the mail this week. And I'm feeling like a rock star. Like I said, just a few days to get myself back together was perfect. I didn't mean to be gone this long, though, because I had stuff planned for you guys. But sometimes, sometimes, you know... As flustered as I was, sometimes it's not a bad thing to take a little step back and try to get yourself back together. And that's what I did. And I know you guys are so sweet about, Kelly, take time for yourself. You need to, we need you healthy. We, we don't need you getting sick. We don't, and you guys are so sweet. And sometimes I really just do need to get myself together because if I've got customers ordering from me and I am not doing my job for them, I am not feeling good about that either. That is very, very important to me that I provide very good customer service. So you will never see me not doing what I need to do to any huge extent. Like I know I burn the candle at both ends, but that's just my nature. But I will take the time to get myself back together so I'm not a discombobulated, bigger mess than normal. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Okay, so... Here we go, and isn't that just stinking adorable? Yeah. What we're gonna do to this is we're gonna take these two panels. Now these were two by five and three eighths. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. Oh, I like it when they match. So let's see, is this, yep, nope, yep, nope. That's not how it was cut. Was it cut like this? Yep, see how, oh, nope, that doesn't look great either. Let me try and match this up, because I know I cut it thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Did I already do it all the ways? Oh, maybe I didn't cut this from the same piece. I don't know what I did. Anyways, I wanted to make it match, but it's not going to happen. I shouldn't even have said anything. But you make yours match because it's kind of cool when it does that. This won't look bad, but I love this side too, right? 
Remember when I couldn't remember what I was trying to say? This looks like a galaxy to me. Just very pretty. Or beautiful, beautiful ocean water. So I just found out, I, th I told you guys the other day that um, Stampin' Up! canceled our Maui trip for July. And while I'm really sad about it, nah, it's not the end of the world. The other thing that they did that I didn't even read because I just read, oh, the trip's canceled until next year. And I was like, wah, whatever. Um, is that for people who earned the Maui trip and now the people that are earning or earned the other Caribbean, we have a Caribbean cruise that's being earned this year. So both of the sets of people who earned those are all going to Maui. And I thought, oh, that's cool because like Caribbean cruise, not a big deal. Maui, pretty big deal. I mean, not that a cruise isn't a big deal. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, most people could, if they go on vacations, they could afford to go on a Caribbean cruise, right? Because you can get some really, really inexpensive cruises. But most people can't just go to Maui. I know that I have never just gone to Maui unless I was with Stampin' Up! Because it's so stinking expensive. That's what I mean. So anyways, for the people that earned the Maui trip from last year and, and are earning or earned the Caribbean trip this year... They get to go for two weeks instead of one. What? Yeah, next year. So I just learned that. And I'm super stoked about it because that's a long ways to fly for only, you know, six days or whatever it is. Okay, so I just put those half-inch strips on here. So I was really excited to find that out. And um, Donna told me today, I didn't even know that. Like, I stopped reading the email when they said, man, we're postponing. I'm like, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm done here. I've read as far as I need to go, but I didn't because that was really good news. Okay, look how pretty that is. Okay, perfect little gate card. Now, there's a lot of things you could do with this, but this is what I'm going to do with it. And is Sharon Jones watching tonight? Because Sharon, this is your card, baby. She sent me a floating gatefold card and I just could not resist. So I just put glue on that, that side. You could use dimensionals too if you wanted to. But I'm just going to put this right in the middle of my card. You could also put a belly band on here and have this slide up and down. But this was just so nice and simple. Look how cute that is. Okay. This is a neat card. But here's where the fun part happens. We're going to take this, which is not a scrap. <laughs> I thought it was just a scrap to do this on. But it's not. This piece is actually... Hang on. i got to think about this a little bit. This is... Two by four and a quarter. And here's what we're going to do with it. We're going to bring it in and we're going to score it. So in all these dimensions I will have on my blog and I'll put them above this Facebook Live video when I'm done. So here we go. We're going we're gonna to score at one inch, two and a half inches, and three and a half inches. Now this is a two by four and a quarter inch piece. Scored at one, Two and a half, three and a half. Now we're going to cut it in half. So we're going to have two of these that are one inch wide. And I just thought it was a great idea. I needed two of them. And rather than cut them and then score two pieces, you can score them once and cut them in half. Okay? All right. Next. We're going to take these and we're going to fold on the score lines and this isn't that big of a deal. You don't have to worry about them, uh, get them all perfect and everything, doesn't matter. And we're going to do the same thing here. Oops. Score, score, score. So this is what you got. You got this and this one does the same thing. Okay? Just like that. So it looks, looks like a, well, kind of like a C maybe. I don't know. You can decide what letter you want it to be. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Okay, next thing we're going to do. We are going to take these squares, and this is where we have to do a little stamping and coloring. So, I got my little funny little walrus guys out here. Here's my walrus that's kind of looking like he's a little mischievous. I'm going to put him right on here. I'm using Memento Black ink, by the way. Look at how cute he is! He is there. These guys are just so stinking cute, right? And then we're going to take this one and we're going to stamp this little guy that's laying on his back. Because he is also stinking adorable. There we go. 
As long as we're stamping, I've got an envelope, and I wanted one of these guys on the envelope, and here's the little chubby guy that's smiling so big you can't see his eyeballs. Haley, does that look familiar? <laughs> so there's this big family joke. My husband's family has this thing where when they smile, you can't see their eyes anymore because their eyes squint when they smile. It's an act. We're, we're talking about Val, baby Val, that she has the Atchison eyes, possibly. So that's what Haley looks like when she smiles. <laughs> She's going to hate me. Okay, next we're going to color these. Well, I'm going to color this one too. So I have you guys that are demonstrators. You, Haley just said, OMG, Mom. Yep. Um, you guys that are demonstrators, we have all these postcards. And I like to use them to, first of all, put over something that's lumpy. So if I have a lumpy card, like with rhinestones and stuff, I'll put these over them. You want to make sure that this side, the shiny side, is on the front of your card because this side will rub off in the mail so you get some black ink onto your card. But if you use the shiny side, you can put it in the envelope like this. It'll protect your rhinestones and any other little embellishments. Well, you can also use this to put in here so that your... Um, Markers don't bleed through the other side, right? So, oh, and Cindy's asking if I have posted my Buy the Dot class yet. I have not, but that is also on my list as soon as I am done with the Technique Club card. So, thank you for that reminder. Let me write that down. See, Technique Club cards. Oh, I've also got swap cards, 17 of those. And then, let me write that down. Hang, hang on just a moment while I do some work. Buy the... Duck. I will get that loaded up. Um, Friday will be a blog hop with Ashley where I'll show you a card and then you'll get a video with all the details. But I'll get that loaded up. Thank you for that reminder, Cynthia. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now we're going to color these little dudes. And while I'm coloring these, I'll get to chat with you a little bit. I don't need that one anymore. I just use Smoky Slate and the Light and the Dark. And I always like to use my dark one first. So, what was the funny thing we were talking about, Haley, um, that I... Oh, I know. So, Haley likes to watch my lives, right? And every once in a while, I'll be going back through the um, comments. And see how I just do this? I just use the dark one. I go right on the lines that Stampin' Up! has given us, wherever I want a little bit of darker color to be. So, I did that on that guy. Can you see that okay? Anyways, I'll be reading the comments, and I'll read something that doesn't make sense. Like, it's not a complete sentence. Probably because somebody hit the go button before they were really ready to, and whatever. For whatever reason. But I'll start reading it, and then I'll go, oh, I don't know what that means. And then I'll kind of giggle and go, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Today they were making fun of me. Haley and Jared were making fun of me that I do that. And Jared's like... Haley is sitting at home when you start reading something, and she'll go, no, Mom, no, don't do it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Just move on. <laughs> because it's always kind of silly that I go, oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Anyways, we were laughing about that today because she's on the other. Oh, I forgot this guy. She's on the other end of the video, you know, watching like you guys are at home going, no, Mom, just let it go. Don't say it. Because then I look kind of silly, right? Because I don't, I don't know what the comment meant. Sometimes it's because I missed part of the conversation that's maybe been said earlier. That happens too. She's like, no, Mom, don't say it. Just let it go. And then they all laugh at me. It's okay. I'm, I can get laughed at. But I thought that was really funny to know that she's at home rooting for me and, and begging me from afar not to read the comment because I'm not going to understand it. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. That's my girl. All right, so see how I'm just coloring over these dark lines that I made? Like, see, look at how this dark line is, is um, look, I just made a mark, but it's really a blob there. I'm just going to keep coloring over that until it blends in and doesn't look like a blob. Now it just looks like some shading or highlighting. I love these markers, you guys. I just can't say enough good things about them. They make me happy. And, of course, we know that's important, right? <laughs> Yep. Look at how cute he is with his little high cheekbones, his little chubby face, his little squinty eyes. He's so cute. All right. Looks like I got a little blob there. So there's my cute little envelope. And then 
what I did is I took the, um, this is Night of Navy Light. I used my big end and I just kind of came down here and went like that. Cool, easy, don't overthink it, just do it. Oh, I see there's still some blobs here. Hang on. This chubby little cheek is looking like I just put a big blob on it. There we go. Now it's blended nicely. Super duper cute. And so I can take this out and now I don't have it bleeding through the back of my envelope, right? Okay, so we're gonna keep working here. Is this my light? Yep. So all I need to do here, now you wanna be careful when you're coloring these little walrus guys that you don't um, color over their tusks because you wanna leave their tusks be white. And then I don't, oh, and their eyeballs. I almost just colored his eyeball. Leave those white too, because that'll just make it look cuter. Um, I don't know if their little face part right there is supposed to be what color that's supposed to be. I just left it white. And you know what? If anybody challenges me on this card, I will never send them a card again. If they're like, I can't believe you left that part white on a walrus. That's never white. <laughs> Nobody's going to say that. So you just make it whatever color you want. If anybody ever said that to me, I would be so done sending them cards. I'm kind of snippy that way. <laughs> Look at how precious he is, right? Okay, next we got this little dude. Cuteness, Lisa says. Exactly. Oh, Amy just said she lost me. I hope that's not going to be a thing because I've, I've had it. So I'm still trying to figure out Zoom, you guys, and how like, I got it to stream from Zoom to Facebook on a live today. But it, like, cut off. So I'm trying to get a hold of Zoom technical support. And I pay for my Zoom account. It's not a free one. So I should get technical support with it. We're going to have a chat, me and them. Because, like, geez, Facebook hates me. Now Zoom hates me. I haven't even abused Zoom in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I know I'm rather abusive with Facebook. But they should love me. I bring them lots of people. Which, by the way, is you, and I appreciate that. Okay, there's my big, big, happy little walrus guy. I love his little eyebrows. They're way up in the air. Isn't that cute? Okay, blue. We're going to do a little bit of blue under our guys here, and then we're going to almost be done. See? Don't overthink this. Just make a blob. Just like that. Boom. Okay, gluing them to our squares. I'm so excited to show this to you because it's really super easy and it's a big wow. And Sharon, I've never made a card like this. I got a card from Sharon. I'll show you that too. And the minute I opened it, I'm like, this is my Facebook Live. Yep. So cute. I got a whole bunch of beautiful cards in the last few days that I tried to show you guys a lot of them Sunday night, but that didn't go over, right? Okay, here we go. Now let me see if I can figure out what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is, this is what our little thing looks like. This is the longest side, okay? So I'm going to put some glue on here. And I am going to glue one of my little dudes to that piece. Just like this. So I'm just going to turn it over here so I can make sure it's kind of centered. It's not, not all that big of a deal. Oh, no, it shouldn't be centered. Whoops, let me move this over here. This side should be all the way to the edge. I'll show you here in a second. See that? This edge right here is all the way up to the side. So this is what it looks like. Okay? Make up a mock one of these. You'll totally get it. Then the other one goes like this. Da -da -da -da. So we're going to glue this one over to that side. So we're going to put some glue on here. This is the big part of that band. And we're going to put this right on here, and it's going to push up against this side right here. See how that is? Up against this side. Okay. Now, all you do is put these into your card. And I am going to add a little bit of glue right here. This is the short side. I'll hold it up for you again, just like that. Okay. Add a little bit of glue there, and you're going to push this right up against the side of your card. 
and then close it just like that. Now it's glued right here. Okay. We're going to do what we're going to do with this. Now this goes like this. We're going to take this and glue that part down just like this. Just like that. Now you got to make sure this will close. So while your glue is still wet, push it down and then it opens up like that. Look at that. Oh, is that not the coolest thing ever? Yeah. And all it is is this little band on the back, you guys. So here's our next one. Okay. Here's the band. I'm going to just tip it for you. So that again. We're going to put some glue on this side panel over here. Push it up against that side. Then you want to do this. <laughs> Hang on to it for a second. You got to give it a second to dry. Do it like that. Get it in there. And then I'm going to close this because you want to make sure that your card is going to close right. So you want to do that when your glue is wet. So there it is right there like that. And then you're going to take this last part. Hold your side up. We're going to add a little bit of glue right here. Now, I've got pictures on my blog that show it like this and like this so you get a better view of it. But now we're going to hold our side up like this and we're going to put this in here and then you got to close your card to make sure that it's going to close while your glue is wet. That's why I don't recommend tear and tape for this. You want it to move just a little bit. So, here's our closed card. Ready? Isn't it cute? And now you're like, Kelly, how are you going to write in there? You're going to open your card up and you can write all over in here because these go flat. See that? Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I see lots of... This is adorable. Okay, so here's our cute card. Here's our cute little walrus guy on the envelope. Then... Her card. Look at this is. She used the stitch shapes. This stamp or this set of dies that's on here that did these two labels also does big with edges on them. And then look at hers. So again, I have pictures on my blog that show you a photograph from this way so you can kind of see what's going on with those tabs. This is not hard, you guys. And this is a big wow, right? Like, I love this. Sharon said, I just had to try my hand at a folding or a floating gatefold card. So much fun. Hugs, Sharon Jones. Love, love, love this. Super, super cool. This is the one that I made using the Wheel Walrus Be Friends. Now, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. If your orders are under $150, you use this code. If they're over $150, don't use the code. You want to, um, you'll get some rewards from Stampin' Up! I want you to have those. But if your order's under $150, use the code. That helps me buy um, door prizes and stuff that I give away, right? And this is where my blog is. My blog is my landing page. It's where I put all my videos, photos. You'll find a complete shopping list of everything that I make, what I've used in it. You can just click on it. It'll take you right to my store where you can buy it if you want, or you can just see the details of the product. But you're always going to find my online ordering button at the bottom of every single, um, blog post and also in the right hand column there is um um 
an online ordering button. That's what I was trying to get at. So, retiring. Will Walrus be friends? Also retiring is the Sea of Silhouette Designer Series paper. Um, yeah, and I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Because we don't want to lose everything, right? Okay, so let me put these away. I've got a whole bunch of cool cards to show you guys that came in the mail. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go through the ones that I've already done, that I did on Sunday, but we didn't have good sound, just so you can see them again. Hang tight. Okay, here we go. This is from Sue Reed. Look at how cute this is. Look at that cute little baby dress. Love it. This says, congratulations. Hello, baby. Jared and Haley, congratulations on your new arrival. Valerie is a beautiful name. Enjoy. Enjoy the joy to come. Very sweet, Susan. Thank you so much. Isn't that cute? As It uses the doily for the little sleeves. I love this. And some pearls. Super, super cute. Then we have from Lynn, Carol Lynn Pearson. This cutie patootie little card. And this says, shine little glow worm glimmer. <laughs> it's got a really cute poem in it. It said, this poem has always been very special to me. And when Carol Lynn heard, I, I typed it for baby cards. She gave me permission to have a stamp made. Ah, I hope you like it. Wishing Valerie a long, healthy, and happy life. Oh, this is from Evelyn. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. It says Boswell on the envelope. This is from um, Evelyn Boswell. Isn't that cute? Carolyn Pearson was the one who made the poem. It says, My Dale child lay in my arms with my lips against his ear. I whispered strongly how I wish. I wish that you could hear. I have a hundred wonderful things to say, a tiny cough and a nod. Hurry, hurry, hurry and grow so I can tell you about God. My day-old baby's mouth was still and my words only tickled his ear, but a kind of a light passed through his eyes and I saw this thought appear. How I wish I had a voice and words. I have a hundred things to say. Before I forget, I tell you of God. I left him yesterday. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, so very, very nice. Thank you so much, Evelyn. That is just a beautiful card. We got another card here from Yolanda Rhodes. This is again, let me see. This is for Haley and Jared. And it says, God bless you all. Enjoy each day. They go by so quickly. And isn't that the truth? Look at that cute little bear. Sweet new baby. That is just cute. I love the little arrow too. <laughs> Very, very pretty. Haley loved this. She's like, ooh, I just love that dream catcher. So thank you, Yolanda. Then we have this beautiful card. It's from Mary Lynn Cox. And let me see if I can get it open. I know I can do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It says, dear new parents, we all watched your pregnancy and stood on your birth watch with your mom. I am so glad mom and baby are doing well. Enjoy your new life as a threesome. Best wishes, Mary Lynn. One of your mom's stalkers. Haley giggled at this. She thought it was pretty funny. One of your mom's stalkers. Look at how pretty. Oh, and this was funny, too, because I noticed this when I went to open her um, envelope. It's upside down. See that? Her flap is down here, and she goes, oops, that's what I do when I mess that up too, Mary Lynn. So it was really cute. This is from Mary Banky. Mary's from Menominee, Michigan. And look at these cute little stinking adorable elephants. Congratulations. This is so happy for you too. You too deserve every bit of happiness this baby is going to bring you. So many Happy and wonderful times ahead for you. Warmest congratulations on the birth of your sweet baby girl. Love just got real. Welcome to the world, little one. And this is from Mickey Benke. And um, it had money in it for Haley and Jared. So they really said, make sure you thank her because that was so sweet of you. Then I have a card here. This one is from Vicki Meyer. Look at how pretty that is. That's that gateway stamp set. I just love this, right? And whoops, it says you make 
each day, oh, it says your thoughtfulness touched my heart. You make each day a little bit brighter. Thank you for all your videos and picking my name to win the Gilded Gems. You really brighten my day. And that's what I love to hear. Thank you so much. Then we have another really pretty card. Oh, this one is crazy. Okay, so this is from Cynthia Campbell of New Braunfels, Texas. I hope I said that right. Look at how cute that is, right? And look at it. It's all personalized. It's got 42520 Val, Valerie Lee Fink. Look at how cute that is. Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at all the things, you guys. Look at look at this. This is just crazy cool. Yeah, super, super cute. Welcome Easter stamp set, 3.13 p.m., 6 pounds, 2 ounces, eat, sleep, cuddle, repeat. Look at all those fun things inside there. This is just really super cute. And this is the poppy paper, and she used the polka dots and the stripes, and what a beautiful color combination, right? Val Weedly Fink. <laughs> super, super cute. Thank you so much, Cynthia. This was sweet, and I and I read your I read your letter that you sent too. And look at the inside of the envelope is all lined. S whoops, I got it the wrong way. So pretty, very very pretty. Haley loved this one. Then we've got this cutie patootie, and this is from Wendy Sue Winter. Look at how gorgeous that is. That wood background. I would have never. I don't know. I would have never thought to use that with this, but it's just adorable. Look at how cute it is. Isn't that sweet? And she said, using up the old to make room for the new. Stay healthy, Wendy Sue. Very, very cool. Wendy Sue is one of my team members. Love, love, love this. Thank you, Wendy Sue. Next, we've got Jean Dronin, I think, maybe. I'm, I know I'm probably not saying your name right. This is really pretty. This is that best dressed paper. And again, the stitch so sweetly stamp set and dies. Absolutely beautiful. And um, Jean says, thank you so much for your videos. I've been a demo for almost two years now and I've learned so much from watching you. I love the box card. My 22 year old son is home from college and his girlfriend is 686 miles away. So he has been making cards for her. We made the box card. He used the same bear as I did. So glad that Valerie Lee is healthy. God bless all of you. I hope to meet you in person sometime soon. That would be so fun, right? Look at this. Ah, this is so cute. A great big welcome for a sweet little someone. We've got the little lion. This is the bear she was talking about. He made his girlfriend one with the bear. And the little elephant, some balloons in the background. Then it says, hello, baby. Welcome, Valerie Lee. God bless you and your parents and your grandparents. Look at how cute that is. This is just stinking adorable. Thank you so much. I just, you know, my heart is just like overflowing with how sweet people are. Like, stampers are the nicest people, aren't they? Okay, so does this look familiar? A little bit, right? I love this designer paper in the background. This is the Ornate Garden bundle with those gold gilded gems. It says, Dear Kelly, even though we've never met, I feel like I know you. It has been so nice during this trying time, the quarantine, to turn on YouTube and watch another one of your videos to help us all get through this. Thank you so very much. As you can see, I love the video for this card that Haley designed. Thank her for me, please, and blessings to you and Steve on being new grandparents. Congratulations. Valerie is beautiful. I'm so very happy for you all. My first granddaughter and I are very close, and I think we always will be. She just turned seven on April 22nd. I'm sure you will always be close to Val and she will love you dearly. I really appreciate the laughs and fun I can always count on having when I watch you on a demonstration video. Thank you for that. You are special to me. And this is from Teresa. And I don't know if it's Rinny or Ryan, but she's from Richland, Washington. And how pretty. I love this with this paper, too. Nice job. Okay. I have one more thing to show you guys. Are you sick of me yet? Because we can stop and I can show you tomorrow. Um, let's see. I'm looking at comments here. Is weird things happening? Oh, Haley says it's working fine for her. Are things getting stupid again? 
Nope, I think I think we're okay. If you're having any streaming problems, it may be that your internet is a little weak tonight. That's possible. I have to show you this big bag. Of, I got this big box of stuff. So I already unloaded this. <laughs> so let's pretend like I didn't. Here's tissue paper. This is from Terry Mullinex. And let's see. Let me make sure I've got my you-know-what together here. Yep. Um, she made this design, this bag out of designer series paper. It's got a little handle on it. Look at the teddy bear. And this is, remember we made these where you hang the card? So it says, hello, baby. Welcome to the world. Congrats on your bundle of joy. Can't wait to see her. Oh, this was for Haley and Jared, not necessarily me. <laughs> Just kidding. It was to Haley and Jared. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's not for me. <laughs> Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so here's what was in here. We got all kinds of good stuff going on. Hang on, I gotta find the card. Here's, look at this beautiful card. And look at the envelope, you guys. Is that not stinking adorable? Yeah. This is a window sheet. Look, you can see my hand through it. Isn't that sweet? Love, love, love this. This is all from Terry now. Okay, so. Terry sent me a bunch of stuff to give away again. Remember, she sent us a bunch of ribbon and things that I could give away as door prizes. Look at these little calendar kits. These were part of paper pumpkin kits. So there's a stamp set in here and a whole thing to make a calendar, little ink spots, and she put current calendars in them. I will be gifting these as prizes over the next whatever few Facebook Lives. So... She is so sweet to do that. And then we have some of that red ribbon again. Terry bought a lot of the red ribbon, and she has gifted a lot of it to me. Oh, we've got, this is pink. Ouch. Oh, this is, this is, oh, this is, this is the red ribbon. This is Poppy Parade, so that's cool. That's a very popular color right now. Then she sent me a Here's a Card stamp set. This is a current stamp set, and this is an awesome sentiment set that I'll be able to give away for a drawing. And then we have a hand-lettered prose dies, you guys. These are so expensive. And she had an extra one and sent it to me to give away as a prize. Like, holy cow, right? That's crazy. But we love her. <laughs> we got some more ribbon in here, some more Poppy Parade ribbon. Hang on. Then she sent me all these adorable little Easter. Look at how cute they are with our gingham paper and this these two are from one of the things so yeah we all those bunny get away then I gotta show you guys these these are stinking adorable look at can you see Val in this oh my goodness a little um onesie with the ladybug on it and look at these cute this cute little skirt pant thing and I think these might even fit her because these are pretty small so I had to make sure I could show them to you I didn't let Haley and Jared take them home today so maybe I'll take them over there tomorrow but stinking adorable right okay let me move these out of the way there's another outfit you guys look at how cute this is isn't that sweet? I love my mommy. I'm going to cross that out and write in there with permanent pen. I love my grandma, Nana. How about that? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Here is a cute little sleeper. Adorable. Matching hat. And then wait for it. We've got cutie patootie little socks here. Look at those socks. Aren't they just sweet? They're huge. Val can't fit them right now, but she will when she can wear this. And these are, look how tiny they are. That's probably, these probably would fit right now. So that's super cute. There you go, you guys. Here's another, here's another little toy. And <clears throat> Terry said, these are extra calendar kits with new calendars in it. And... She says, here's a card set, extra, never used. You can raffle, also hand litter prose dies. I have everything in the current catalog she wanted. So all these things were extras. Super, super cute, right? Well, these weren't extras. And this just makes my heart go pitter-patter. I can't wait to see these.
weird thing. So the other day, I have, um, I think this prescription, because you guys, I, t- I don't know if I told you this or not, but I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I was up every day. Remember when I was complaining that my feet, my hands hurt every time I got up? I could hardly walk. My hands hurt. And anyways, I went to the doctor and they said I have rheumatoid arthritis. Whatever. So they gave me all these pills. And um, one of the things I'm taking is hydroxy chloroquine. Did I say it right, Haley? I can never say it right, like never. Hydroxychloroquine, which is looking at maybe a little for the years ago. And so I think every day I think maybe the one I don't know. There's a couple of pills I'm on. I'm terrible about medicine. Anyhow, the reason why this pops in my head is because it says right on my screen right now, take my pill at 8 p.m. Because that's the only way I can remember. Anyways, I was paying a $15 copay at the pharmacy for this hydroxychloroquine prescription. I went to fill it yesterday, $65. Because it might be something they're going to use for the coronavirus. They jacked it right through the roof. So disgusted. You guys ever have that happen? Like, I've never had that happen. I've never had to be on much medication. But, you know, I guess I'm getting old. Oh, I just heard it. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to have to tell you goodbye. I will try to be back tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's acting weird again, isn't it? I can tell that my mouth is moving different from my words coming out of it. <laughs> A big mouth. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. If you can hear me, um, bless you. Have a great rest of your night. I will try to be back here tomorrow afternoon, evening, sometime with something else cool to share with you. Bye-bye.